Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. 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 I'm going to start off with the rules of table topics. The rules of table topics are you have to say the word of the day, which is reminisce, and you have to say that within your speech, which is one to two minutes. I will call on you. If you say with your, if you're within the one to two minutes and you say the word of the day, you'll be qualified for our beautiful blue ribbon for our table topics. Um, today I'm going to do things a little bit differently, though. Um, I'm going to call up some people and I'm going to have you stand here next to me because it's kind of, kind of like a storyboard type thing, so to kind of keep it flowing. And I'll be standing up here next to me, so I'm going to call you up here in a second. Um, and so has everybody seen this book? Everybody know what this book is? What? Before Christmas. Oh, okay. all right. I decided to pick this book because we're over <laughs> close to Christmas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read part of the first page out of here, then the first person I call on has to make their own story from that. And the next person there has to follow that previous person's story. Wow. So it's going to be a little interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen, heard Brian do that. <laughs> True. Okay. So these are the people I like to call up. Brian C. Hey! Jennifer Weeks. Chris Marshall. Hey! And we'll call on Patty. Hey! So if we can get through five, and the last person will have Nate. Hey! So, so remember, I'm going to read the first page, and as a call on as I follow you, you will start with your story, and again, the person after you guys to follow your story. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we follow each other's story. Correct. Gotcha. We follow each other's story. Of course, the first page is really easy to read. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, nothing was stirring, not even a. Brian? <laughs> not even a little Tonka truck. <laughs> With little kids running all about the house, you figure you hear a zoom and a zoom and a broom and a broom. But no, not this night. This night, there's not even one little trip, truck to trip over, but there's plenty of words to trip over. <laughs> so as you look for the cars, up high, down low, you look for them behind the stairs. Where'd they go? I don't know where they go. I, so I looked, I looked, I found some dolls. The dolls aren't higher, the dolls aren't there, but I found this one doll. Where are all its doll friends? I simply don't know where all the doll friends happen to be. So now I'm looking for trucks, I'm looking for dolls, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, the kids are all the bed, why are there trucks and dolls? Hmm. So I stopped to think just for a moment as I reminisce about the day. And then the day came, the day went, and then we did clean up before we went to bed. So what could happen next? I went and I went and I looked and I looked. The kids were definitely still tucked in bed. So I'm not really sure what happened to those kids, I'm not really sure what happened to their toys. So, let me see. We've got trucks, we've got dolls, we've got kids and beds, and my day is pretty much over. So then I had to say... I had to say, I don't know what happened to these kids, but from my wondering eyes did appear a snow, a Santa and his reindeer. And as I looked closer at this sled, I saw the three kids that were once in bed. And I said, how did they get here? I can't believe this magical fact. And so I jumped from my feet, and I went outside into the snow to get a closer look at what I could behold. And here we had these children inside of the sleigh, and they were just perfectly happy and gay. This was Christmas Eve. They knew this was going to be the night that they were going to have all the presents and would be completely delighted. And so I then began to watch as they unfolded the presents and, and to the house one by one. And at that moment, I began to reminisce about Christmas's past and all the presents that I had received and still continue to last in my memories. And I thought about those trucks that were strewn about the floor. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice from those presents that were from last year, we could add another fleet of trucks to that. And so from there, I said, Chris. <laughs> and says, Santa, let's get back in with your reindeer and into your sleigh. Let's head to the next country and start spreading more joy amongst the other families. This spread trucks and other dolls amongst them. So me and my children, we hopped in the sleigh, and then we gave our trucks 
and do a 3D printer as well. Mm -hmm. we, we went to China, we went to Japan, we went to all over Asia and Europe, printing more trucks and more dolls for all the children of the world. As we reminisced about our mm -hmm. Christmases past, we, we went from trucks <laughs> big and small, and Donk is in the last. I also got my children a book on how to rhyme. <laughs> because this was also our first Christmas, as we used to celebrate Hanukkah and other holidays as well. <laughs> so as we kept going from door to door, dropping off toys for the little boys and the little girls, I went to one special house and knocked on the door. I said, I'm unable to get in, but we, can I? <laughs> I'm unable to get in. But would you please allow me to say to you, say to you, no, Santa is taking over. And Santa is coming to let the kids have this with their way. So Santa got out of his sleigh and slipped and fell, boom, on the ground, in the snow. We're looking at Santa like, didn't you know that there's snow on the ground? How you gonna fall? You're supposed to be Santa Claus. So Santa got mad and Santa jumped up. Santa went to the house and kicked in the door and said, I'm here and we're celebrating the day. And y'all better be gleeful if I fall, so what? Let's say, hey. And so Santa, he said, everyone looked at Santa, the toys was on the, still on the ground. But Santa was happy and he picked up his reindeer Rudolph and he said, I'm here. And when we reminisced about how Santa came in the door, he came in with force and he had to let you all know. And he's here to stay. Santa's not going away. Santa's here even if he falls on the snow in front of your home. We are going to celebrate Santa because that's all we know. The holiday season is here with glee. Reminisce one more time for me and thee. <laughs> <laughs> now we continue to reminisce on this story of Tonka toys, toys all over the floor. Santa crashing into the house or the street or something. So, how does this story end? Well, it's has a magical time on Christmas Day. It ends as we're sitting in Santa's sleigh. Why not go for a ride, we tell Santa. Don't we all go? We pile in, Brian and Chris and me. And me, we got in Santa's sleigh, and we were history. Because we rode all over the world. And we got to be Santa's little elves, his little helpers. Nate helped him drop some big, huge toys. <laughs> Skeletons, <laughs> all kinds of weird things that people ask for on Christmas. Chris helped with uh, Brian and with the Donka toys. Threw those over the sleigh. It was just like at the end of Rudolph the Red Nose Ring. <laughs> happy ending, and Rudolph was happy, we were happy, Santa was happy, everybody in the world was happy, the kids all got their toys. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> nice story. That's a very exciting story. <laughs> now I'll turn our meeting over to our genuine evaluator. Yay. Well, we begin the evaluation portion, which is sometimes, well, it's probably the most important in many respects, because if you don't get feedback, it doesn't matter how well you speak, because you don't know what to do, where to go next. So, let's start with our evaluators, who turn out to be two Jennifers. All right, starting with the evaluating Selena's speech is Jennifer Cunningham. Hey. So Selena, you did uh, getting comfortable with visual aids, and so I will go down and just give you a basic synopsis. You're very comfortable with visual aids. You did a great job on your PowerPoint presentation. I really enjoyed learning more about your condition and something that I didn't know. Um, I think that when we looked at some of the older pictures, it kind of brought it all together. But also, I don't know that a lot of us knew that it was a genetic condition and it actually affected the brain. So it was very informative and you used the visual aids very well to show how it affects 
more people and that there is research uh, that is being done. I think what I would have liked to know a little bit more about is um, some of the research, what the goal of the research is. Is it to cure the issue? Is it to prevent? Is it to take care of the issue long term? Is there a way to resolve the issue long term? I think that's the only thing that I would have looked for at the end of the speech, like a resolution or what are we trying to do moving forward? Because I felt like I was ready to move forward and figure out how can I help this cause and um, just didn't feel it. Um, I've never heard of the syndrome before and I always thought it was a birthmark so it was very enlightening. I think you did really great with the visuals. Uh, they were clear, visible. Uh, the computer usage did a great job. You had it down with the uh, clicker. Um, and it was very clear on the purpose, the body language, you used appropriate terms, research. You knew where the research institute was, and it was well researched all together. So thank you. Great job. Yeah. Second evaluator, Jenna, uh, evaluating Jennifer Cunningham's speech is Jennifer Weeks. <laughs> that is Jennifer's. <laughs> Our reflection really enjoyed this speech. So I'll go through the manual here. The first question was, the general purpose of the speech was clear. So right at the very beginning, you said this was a piece on reflection and how to look forward to the next year. So right from the very beginning, you made it evident what the speech was about. So great work. Second question, the specific purpose of the speech was clear. Again, you went right from there, you segued into people that you look up to. So it was definitely uh, clear to me what the specific purpose was of the speech. Next question, the speech organization supported the speech's specific purpose. So there's a scale from one to five on each of these. I gave you a five plus plus on this, and I'll explain why. So 